I always look at the chamber and think, the chamber's the, the great place of the House. This is, to me, what belongs to the backbenchers. The vast majority of members of Parliament are not ministers, and the responsibility of members of Parliament, apart from handling casework for their constituents, is to come to the chamber and to probe, question, scrutinise, challenge. However, will the minister confirm that the Health and Social Care Act creates more quangos than the Public Bodies Act abolished? One of the real main functions of Parliament is to scrutinise government. Um, members will do that through questions, um, both written and oral, so it's not just the questions on the floor of the House. Often MPs have their own one-to-one -one meetings with ministers if they've got a particular local interest. Uh, MPs are on select committees and they hold inquiries. And then, of course, there's the Backbench Business Committee. Since this Parliament started, the government has given backbenchers 35 days of the parliamentary calendar to schedule for themselves the debates that they want to raise. So that's been a really exciting development and that's kind of really changed the way that that Parliament is working. Of course there'll be emergency items that can be brought to the House at times. You know, there could be an emergency statement, you know, big issues that really affect the country, you know, quite rightly. Parliament's got to reflect not something next week, but something that's immediate, and that's the power of the Chamber. The government pursues the work that it is doing, not just to look at the possibility of a British Bill of Rights, but also so that in future we will be in a position to deport people who are dangerous to us.